Setting a world record. Duplantis. Is it on? Oh, that's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. At just 25 years old, Mondo Duplantis has already shattered nine world records and claimed Olympic gold, cementing his status as the greatest pole vaulter in history. But his latest admission has left fans and critics buzzing. Is there more to his success than raw talent and dedication? Mondo Duplantis has redefined what it means to dominate a sport. Over the past few years, he hasn't just broken records. He's shattered them repeatedly, including the jaw-dropping 6.26-meter vault that left fans and competitors alike in awe. What sets Mondo apart isn't just his ability to leap higher than anyone else in history. It's the consistency with which he performs at this level. He doesn't have just one or two standout moments. He owns the top 10 pole vaulting marks in history. That's a level of control over a sport that few athletes ever achieve. This dominance has sparked some interesting debates, though. There's been talk that Mondo might be using a calculated approach to break records incrementally. The theory goes that by clearing just a centimeter higher with each new record, he maximizes his earning potential through bonuses and incentives tied to each milestone. Whether or not that's true, it hasn't taken away from his incredible talent. If anything, it adds a layer of intrigue to his already fascinating career. What makes all of this even more remarkable is how effortless he makes it look. While others struggle to maintain their peak, Mondo seems to thrive under the pressure of being the best. At the Paris 2024 Olympics, Mondo Duplantis delivered a performance that felt like a culmination of years of hard work and unwavering focus. Competing in front of 80,000 spectators at the iconic Stade de France, he not only secured Olympic gold, but also broke his own world record with a 6.25 meter vault. The atmosphere was electric, and Mondo admitted afterward that the energy of the crowd pushed him to reach new heights. It wasn't just another competition for him, it was the realization of a childhood dream. For years, Mondo has spoken openly about his desire to break the world record on the Olympic stage. In his own words, this was the ultimate goal, the one moment he had envisioned since he first picked up a pole. When the moment arrived, he didn't disappoint. With all eyes on him, Mondo's jump was as much about precision as it was about sheer determination. Afterward, he described it as an out-of-body experience, a moment where everything aligned perfectly. What made this achievement even more special was the effort behind it. Mondo talked about how he spent months fine-tuning his technique and ensuring his body was in peak condition. The physical preparation was matched by mental clarity. He focused on blocking out distractions and channeling the crowd's energy rather than letting it overwhelm him. His ability to thrive under such intense pressure was a testament to his skill and mindset. This wasn't just a win for Mondo. It was a performance that reminded the world of why he's considered one of the greatest athletes of his generation. And as the competition introduced a new incentive system, Mondo's record-breaking jump set a high bar for others to follow, sparking fresh excitement in the world of athletics. The Silesia Diamond League meeting added a unique twist to the competition by offering a $50,000 gold and diamond ring to the athlete with the highest world athletic score. It wasn't just about prize money or records this time. It was a race for one of the most extravagant prizes the sport has seen. The competition required athletes to surpass predetermined benchmarks, and the stakes were high. For pole vaulters, this meant clearing heights few could dream of. For Mondo Duplantis, the ring may have been a factor in his record-breaking performance, though the exact motivation remains unclear. Known for his focus and love of the sport, Duplantis has always prioritized pushing his limits, but the additional incentive couldn't have hurt. Some argue that this prize, coupled with the pressure of the moment, added an extra edge to his vault. 
Mondo himself hasn't confirmed whether the ring was a key motivator, but his composed demeanor before and after the competition suggests he was prepared regardless of the stakes. While the Calicia ring was a fresh incentive, the focus soon shifted back to familiar speculation. Rumors about whether Mondo breaks records strategically for maximum rewards continue to circulate. Some people have suggested that his approach is more strategic than spontaneous, claiming he deliberately inches past his previous marks to maximize the financial bonuses tied to setting new world records. It's an idea that has sparked debate among fans and critics alike. Could someone with such raw talent also be meticulously planning every centimeter of his success? Sports analysts have weighed in, offering mixed opinions. Some believe the theory holds water, pointing out that incremental record-breaking allows athletes to extend their earning potential and create more headline-grabbing moments over time. From a financial perspective, it's a smart move. However, others argue that this approach doesn't diminish his achievements. After all, even a single centimeter at Mondo's level represents extraordinary effort and precision. The ethical question is trickier. Does this strategy, if true, undermine the spirit of competition, or is it simply a savvy way to navigate a high-stakes sport? Amid all the speculation, what remains undeniable is the sheer brilliance of his performances. While critics debate his methods, Mondo continues to raise the bar, both literally and figuratively. Yet, beyond the technicalities of his success, lies a deeply personal journey that makes his story even more compelling. One of his biggest sources of support comes from his girlfriend, Desire Englander. Desire, a Swedish model and content creator, has been by his side through the highs and lows of his career. Their relationship, which began in 2020, is a testament to mutual understanding and unwavering encouragement. She's often seen cheering him on at his competitions, and Mondo has been open about how much her presence means to him. He's mentioned that having someone who genuinely believes in him makes a world of difference, especially in a sport where mental strength is just as important as physical ability. When Mondo isn't competing or training, he enjoys a quieter life in Stockholm. Living on Kungsholmen, an island in the city, gives him a balance between his demanding career and personal relationships. He's spoken about how much he appreciates the slower pace of life in Sweden compared to the United States, where he grew up. It's here that he spends time with his family and desire, creating a sense of normalcy amidst the chaos of being a global sports icon. Despite his fame, Mondo remains remarkably grounded. In interviews and public appearances, he comes across as approachable and humble, always taking time to engage with fans. He's not just admired for his athletic talent, but also for how relatable he is. Mondo often downplays his accomplishments, focusing instead on the joy he finds in pole vaulting and the gratitude he feels for his supporters. With a life built on personal and professional support, Mondo's recent revelation about his journey caught everyone off guard. Taking that third attempt. I was just trying to keep it as simple as possible. You know, third attempts are always pretty shitty, but uh, try not to overcomplicate things, knowing that if I put together just a decent jump in there. In a candid interview, he addressed what drives him and how he approaches the constant pressure to outperform himself. While many believed his motivation lay in the financial bonuses tied to each new world record, Mondo was clear. His love for the sport is what fuels him. He shared that every jump, whether a record attempt or not, is about pushing the boundaries of what's possible, not just for himself, but for the sport of pole vaulting as a whole. When asked about the rumors surrounding his incremental record-breaking strategy, Mondo didn't shy away. He acknowledged that the rewards are a nice bonus, but denied that they dictate his performance. Instead, he emphasized the technical challenges involved in clearing even a centimeter higher. According to him, each new record is a testament to years of refining his technique and understanding the limits of his body. For Mondo, the small steps aren't about strategy, they're about celebrating progress. Looking ahead, he spoke with excitement about his potential to reach even greater heights. While he refrained from making bold predictions, he admitted that the idea of hitting 6.30 meters or more isn't out of the question. His focus remains on staying healthy, fine-tuning his skills, and continuing to enjoy the process. 
He also expressed gratitude for the role his fans and loved ones play in keeping him grounded amidst his ever-growing success. At this stage in his career, Mondo isn't just setting records, he's redefining what it means to dominate a sport. By silencing the skeptics and confirming his intentions, he's proven that his journey is far from over. He's not just an athlete, he's shaping the future of pole vaulting. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments down below.